When you walk into a gym, there's no shortage of equipment that you see everywhere. But one of the most common questions I get is, what is better, using dumbbells or barbells? And will one help me get stronger or build more muscle? And those are certainly good questions. And in today's video, we're going to weigh out the pros and cons of using dumbbells and using barbells. And then by the end of the video, we're gonna have a clear answer on which one might be better for you. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Aaron from AMF Coaching. And today we're gonna to be looking at which one is better for you, using dumbbells or barbell. So we're gonna weigh out the pros and cons of each of them and figure out an answer by the end of this video. As well, if you're interested in learning more about losing weight, improving your mindset, working out, feel free to go in the description, check out my links. I have my ebook there and all my coaching stuff there if you would like to check them out. And before we get into the video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And as always, click the subscribe button down below if you wanna keep getting future updates of whenever I upload a new video. So we are over at the whiteboard and we're gonna start off with dumbbells, go over the pros and cons, and then we're gonna look at barbells, pros and cons, and then we're going to figure out which one is better for you. So starting with dumbbells, we're going to go over the pros first and look at some things that may be beneficial for you if you're using dumbbells. So one of the things that dumbbells are very good at is correcting muscle imbalances or improving muscle imbalances. So we're going to write that in here. So we'll do um, improve, I'll just do a period here muscle imbalance and this is useful because you have one weight in each hand so each limb has to support and stabilize its own weight whereas if you use a barbell in this situation you could end up being lopsided the next one leading off of that is Dumbbells allow you to work one body part at a time, such as one arm. So if you're injured, this is even better. So you can actually continue strengthening your muscles use. So you can do, let's do one limb at a time. Now this also helps if you compete in sports and you need to do some unilateral movements or uneven weighted movements, which will help you resist different forces, whichever may you count. So for example, if you're a rugby player, overcoming a lot of lateral forces, dumbbells are great for this. Another pro going into the muscle imbalances, dumbbells are great for working on joint stability. So using one arm and pressing, for example, using a kettlebell or a dumbbell will help improve the stability of that shoulder. Whereas using a barbell, you have both shoulders stabilizing the weight. So this allows you to work on um, the stability joint, stability of a single joint. So if you're someone who's brand new to lifting, this is especially important because you may not be ready to handle a heavy load yet. So working on the joint stability and getting your body actually used to lifting some lighter loads, dumbbells will allow you to progress and actually reduce your risk of getting hurt. And one more pro that we're going to add on is that with dumbbells, you have a lot more variation. So I'm going to do more variation and with this, you have, you can do a neutral grip, um, you can do pronated, supinated grip with dumbbells. So there's those three variations. You can also do a single arm, um, whereas with a barbell, you can't really, unless you're really strong, and can lift a single barbell um, just fine. But most of us aren't in that position. As well, if you are injured, then there are more variations with dumbbells that you can do to kind of work around your injury or even improve or rehab the injury that you have. So before we get into the cons, 
Um, just remember, these are all of my pros and cons. So you may have some others specifically for yourself. So at any time in the video, if you have ones that you would want to add in to either category, whether it's for dumbbells or barbells, just leave a comment below and share your thoughts with me and I can kind of compare them to what I have here as well. Okay, so let's get into the cons of using dumbbells. One of them, which is apparent in most gyms, um, this only affects you if you're very strong and kind of a lot more progressed, but most gyms are limited in the weights they have for dumbbells. So you have limit in weights available. And this can make it challenging if you need certain weights or if somebody is using the weight that you need. Sometimes there's only one or two copies of a weight that you have available. So that's one of the limitations with dumbbells. Adding on to this as well, because of the limitations in weights, it can make increasing the weight or making changes to the weight you're lifting a little harder. So if you're someone you're doing, let's say 30 pounds for a dumbbell chest press, moving up five pounds or to the 35 pounds can be extremely challenging because it's, you're not just lifting five pounds more, each arm is lifting five pounds more. So harder to increase the weight. One advantage of using barbells in this situation is that you can use fractional plates or go up by two and a half pounds on each side. And in that case, you have both arms working to push five pounds instead of just one arm. And we're gonna add on one more con. And this one, it doesn't apply to everybody, but it's something that could happen. So if you're not ready for lifting really heavy weights, let's say if you're newer and you just kind of want to lift like really heavy dumbbells, then this could be an increased risk to you getting injured. Whereas if you go a little too heavy on a barbell, it's still going to be evenly loaded. If you have a spotter, you should be okay. But with a dumbbell, you don't know what's going to happen if the weight's out here. One arm could easily go this way and one could go this way. So it's gonna increase your risk of injury. So going too heavy too soon could be a risk. It's also a risk with barbells, but I would say in terms of damaging your shoulder or seriously injuring yourself, then this is definitely a con. So too fast too soon equals risky. So those are the pros and cons for dumbbells. You can see a lot of the pros are focused more around joint stability, muscle imbalances, and progressing into newer movements. One thing adding onto here, if you are a beginner, then a lot of these are going to line up with you. So. Keep these in mind, even write them out if you like, and let's get into the pros and cons of using a barbell. So just like we did with dumbbells, for barbells, we're gonna start with the pros and weigh out the advantages of using a barbell over a dumbbell. So the first one, it may be a little obvious, but one of the advantages to using a barbell is that they're gonna help you get stronger. So they're gonna help you increase your strength. And this is due to the fact that you can load it up a lot more compared to a dumbbell. So if your goal is to get strong, then you are gonna to want to progress to using a barbell and focus on using that to increase your strength. So the next pro that goes hand in hand with increasing your strength is that you can go a lot heavier with your barbell. So you can go heavier. So doing a heavy bench press versus a very heavy dumbbell bench press is a lot safer using a barbell because you have your whole body supporting the load instead of a single arm. So allows you to go heavier, allows you to get stronger. Then the last pro, for me, I could only think, think of three. There's multiple pros and cons to using everything, 
but I'm trying to keep all of these relative. But if you have any more specific to you, feel free to share them in the comments below. And the last one here is that weight increases are easier. So easier weight increases. Hopefully you can read that. Um, but with this, you can go up two and a half pounds on each side, or if you have fractional pounds, in most cases you can go up a quarter pound, use a quarter pound plate, a half pound plate. So that's going to make it a lot easier. So you have two arms supporting five pounds versus one arm supporting five pounds with barbells versus dumbbells. So those are the pros for barbells. Now let's get into the cons or the negative things with using barbells when compared to dumbbells. So one of the things that we talked about with dumbbells is they help improve muscle imbalances and improve joint stability. With barbells, if you have a muscle imbalance, it could make it worse. So it could make muscle imbalances worse. Doing this, if you do have some severe imbalances, could you make you more prone to getting injured, which is definitely something you don't want. I have seen someone before who really needed to improve their muscle balances and joint stability, and they initially were bench pressing almost sideways instead of straight because they had that imbalance. So barbells were not even a question at that point. They were regressed to dumbbells and then progressed right back up to barbells and got just as strong. So one of the other cons with barbells is that there's less variation of what you can do. Most of the exercises you're doing with barbells are fixed. So you have less variation. Now with barbells, usually your goal is predominantly building muscle or getting stronger. You don't need a lot of variations, but if you are injured or you can't use a certain body part properly, then using a barbell will be a little difficult and could actually be counterproductive. So this is one of the cases where it's kind of dependent on your capabilities at the time and kind of what you're looking for. So if you need more variation in a movement, dumbbells may be the way to go. Um, but you're, if you're fine with doing kind of only overhead presses or bench press or barbell rows and kind of sticking to those, then barbells are perfectly fine for you. And the last one, this is a big one, especially if you're new to lifting weights. There is a minimum strength requirement. And this is, that's a Q. There is a minimum strength requirement, and that's due to the fact that barbells usually come in two standard weights. So you can have a woman's barbell, which is usually 30, 35 pounds, or just a standard barbell, which is 44 pounds or 45 pounds. So if you are new to lifting, lifting a barbell on its own could be a little much and your body may not be ready for it. So starting with dumbbells where you can go a lot lighter will be a lot more beneficial. So having a barbell is more of a progression from a dumbbell. So those were all of the pros and cons to using dumbbells versus barbells. And the answer to which one is better, it ultimately depends on what your goal is and where you are in your whole fitness journey. So if you're someone that's brand new to the gym, you have some muscle balances and you need to work on getting stronger to be able to do more things, then starting off with dumbbells is going to be the better thing instead of just going straight to barbells. With dumbbells, it's gonna allow you to improve those imbalances, make sure your joints are stable enough to actually go heavier in weights, and you can use the dumbbells to allow you to progress to going to barbells safely so you don't hurt yourself. And if you're on the complete opposite spectrum, let's say if your goal is simply getting stronger, building muscle, or if you're a competitive power lifter, then using barbells are going to be a lot better for you. Since your goal is strength, you've most likely built the foundations years and years ago. So sticking to barbells will allow you to get stronger. So for example, if you wanna get a stronger bench press, the best thing to do is 
bench press, not dumbbell bench press, but barbell bench press. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you can kind of see which one may work better for you, whether it's dumbbells versus barbells. So basically in summary, if you're a beginner and you need to work on some stability imbalances or simply just getting a little stronger, dumbbells will be better. But if your goal is getting stronger, building muscle, then progressing to using barbells is going to be a lot better for you and there's gonna be a lot more benefits. So as always, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate all of you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to hit the notification bell wherever it may be when you hit subscribe. That way, when I do release a new video, you get an update sent right to you. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.